Before we do the big reveal, magrika po na tayo from items 10 to 2. Ten. Mysterious sea monster in California. Nine. Piglet in Cuba looks like a monkey. Eight. A dog was killed during the filming of Oro. Seven. Seven. Two-headed porpoise found by Dutch fishermen. Six. Seven. Copyright issues over a monkey selfie. Five. Giant shipworm in Sultan Kudarat. Four. Yes. Cyclops goat in India. Three. Multiple sightings of giant ore fish in Mindanao. Two. Two. Hairy looking beast in Dinagat Islands. And at number one, ang nanguna ang pinaka shocking animal news Megamouth Shark in Albay. That's a good one. What a pinaka! In January 2015, the carcass of the rare species of the megamouth shark was found by fishermen on the shores of Albay. Para sa akin, ang pinaka shocking is the one that I haven't seen, like the megamouth shark. Ang alam lang natin yung mga whale sharks, mga ganon. Pero yung deep sea na shark na ito, yung megamouth na ito, nung nakita natin, eh, parang wow. The megamouth shark in Albay, very unusual na makita mo siya. Kasi tulad nung ibang mga na-discuss natin ng mga nada kanina, or fish, yung ganyan, usually nasa malalalim na parts yan. Malaki yung bunga nga niya at maliliit yung ngipin niya. So, syempre, usually expected nilang pating yung matatalas yung ngipin at ma Hahaba, ganun. Pero ito ay kakaibang uri ng pating. The extremely rare Megamouth shark was first spotted in 1976 and is considered the most significant shark species discovered in the 20th century, according, of course, to the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Oh, and another thing. It is so unlike Jaws, which is probably the shark image that we're all familiar with. Yung pinangalan nila sa Albay si Toothless Monster, ay yung Toothless Dragon. Ganun-ganun yung itsura niya. Ang normal is that, di ba, parang pointed yung dulo niya. Ito, medyo pabilog, tapos malaki talaga yung bibig niya. Yung ulo niya is medyo pabilog. Tapos yung bibig niya, malapad. So, unlike yung mga usual fish natin na maliliit yung mga dulo niya, yun tayo familiar na itsura ng isda. Kapag nakakita ka ng ganitong klase ng sea creature, nakakaiba yung itsura niya. Nakakagula talaga. Minsan nakakatakot. Akala nila toothless to, no? Pero actually, meron silang mga malilit ng ngipin and uh, 50 rows daw ng ngipin ito. Pero malilit yung ngipin niya. Hindi siya katulad ng ibang shark na sobrang parang pag tinig ng walang ngipin. Pero ito, dahil nga sa dissection, eh, nakita na marami siyang ngipin. Now, the body of the megamouth shark, which bore wounds and had its tail missing, has been preserved and displayed at the Albay Park and Wildlife. I gotta see that. Dahil sa sobrang rare niya, pre-reserve siya para makita ng mga kababayan natin na, wow, there's an existing shark like this and let's not waste yung body niya para makip natin. And laki-laki, no? Pagka nakita mo, talagang napaka-rare na animal siya. It's one of the endangered sea creatures na meron tayo. So, hindi actually dapat siya hinuhuli. Kung mahuli man sa net, dapat pakawalan. Ito yung isa sa mga tinatawag natin ng environmental indicator sa dagat na kapag nandyan yan, alam natin na medyo stable pa yung environment. So, kapag itong mga to ay nawawala na, hindi mo na siya nakikita, kahit accidental catch rim, walang mga ganun na. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na rin maganda yung biodiversity dun sa area na yun. Awareness, ganun, na may mga iba ibang uri pala tayo ng pating na makikita dito. So, Nasa world record na tayo na area na kung saan makikita yung mega mouth shark. Hopefully, mas mataas na appreciation ng mga tao sa marine ecosystem natin kung gaano ka-unique na mga uri ng isda at mga marine resources ang makikita dito sa Pilipinas. What a fun episode. Loved it. There you have it. Our top 10 ang Shocking animal news. Many thanks, of course, to Alta Media Icon Awards for honoring Ang Pinaka with the Best Lifestyle Program Award. Third year in a row. <coughs> Thought I'd mention that part. Maraming salamat po. Many thanks, of course, to our guest, Paralistas. This has been your host, Revilson Fernandez. 
check out Add Us Up on Facebook. We have a Twitter account too and an Instagram and it's pretty active. Let us know what you think. We write back. We really do. Next week, get your pens and notepads handy as we continue listing down the top 10 of anything and everything. That's shocking! Dito lang sa paboritong lista ng bayan ang nag-iisang ang pinaka. Mm.